a number of markets in the USA are going to get a bit more expensive for heavy data users. After a year of streaming, work from home, and homeschooling, several ISPs are looking to institute stricter caps on home data. Managing that data is up to the consumer. So let's chat about some ways that you can handle that from your router. Now, it's always worth allocating a little of your data to keep up with the fantastic work here on reviews.org. So make sure you hit all those subscribe options down below. Keeping track of your data usage can be tricky. We're a super connected society and a ton of consumer electronics and smart home products can chip away at your monthly allowance. There are a lot of moving parts. You know, some of this needs to be handled at the device level, some at the online services level, but some of this we can manage from your router. Every router is a little different, but these kinds of settings should be available on most of the hardware out there. First, we just want to cover the basics. Basic security is always a good habit to get into. Using strong passwords for your network and regularly changing those passwords should prevent anyone from piggybacking on your Wi-Fi. Lax security can cost you money. Your router keeps a log of all devices connected, so you should occasionally audit that to see what's using your data. For example, I really don't like the smart interface on my smart TV, so we got a Chromecast. The TV itself, though, still connects to the web, so blocking that traffic can help. Next, if there are specific services that are chewing up a lot of data, you might need to manage them individually. Netflix, as one example, can use up to 7 gigabytes of data per hour streaming UHD video, so on your player, you might want to turn that down to 1080p. Now, your router can't handle that kind of finesse. You can't change individual services at the router level, but you can use it to block sites as more of a broadsword last resort. There are a couple different ways we might want to do this. You probably have a section for firewall rules, so you can set up a wall preventing communication with the specific service. You also might have parental controls. Now, these can be tweaked for things like content and maturity filtering, but if needs be, this can also be a way to block certain traffic outright. These are more brute force options though. So if you set up a router wide rule, it's likely everyone on the network is gonna get blocked. Still, if TikTok is eating up your data and you aren't watching a lot of TikTok, I'm just saying. A more managed approach though, using tools like these to schedule things like game downloads, online game play, probably doesn't use up a ton of data, but downloading, installing, and updating games, that might hit a bit harder. You can block some of the traffic to those servers and then just work in your household to schedule certain times per month where you can safely download, install, and update those games. ISPs don't always give you the easiest tools to see your usage or prevent an overage. The deeper you dig into some of your router settings, you might find some really cool controls. Some routers allow you to target individual users on your network and throttle their connection, slowing them down so they're not constantly chewing up data. And some routers can even and let you set a monthly limit for how much traffic crosses your network. These are definitely more advanced features that are gonna require some finesse, but you'll often find them under QoS, or quality of service. Not many consumer grade routers are going to support these features, but if your hardware does have them, they can really come in handy. And lastly, like our first point, it's a good habit to keep up with maintenance and updates. Your router is a little computer whose sole job is managing all the traffic for your home. Keeping it up to date means it will manage your home electronics more efficiently and more securely. But you can also benefit from new features and improved settings. The most recent update for my router helped improved content filtering for the parental controls. Those little tweaks and improvements are worth staying on top of. Your router is the brain that handles all the internet your family uses. But there's only so much we can do from this single hardware point. So if you'd like a follow-up guide on handling data and staying under your data cap, drop some comments down below. If there are any additional tips or tricks, something that we might have missed, don't be shy. Network management is my kind of nerdy. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing, and subscribing to the channel. For Reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, and I'll catch you all on the next video.